I wasn't kidding or even trying to clickbait you. It literally takes 10 minutes to get bigger triceps. Let me explain. Triceps overhead extension. This is almost foolproof. Get the pulley around hip height so you don't dislocate your shoulders every time you pick it up and put it down, especially when you put it down because your last reps should and will look nasty. You only have to do three sets, but take it all the way to failure. But make sure that you are resting three minutes in between your sets so you recover enough because you will have to perform to keep the intensity high. And the optimal gurus will tell you, oh, this exercise is only biasing the medial and the lateral head of your triceps and not the long one. And this is where I look them in the eye and ask, so what? What does biasing mean? It means that certain muscles get more emphasis, activation and work, but by how much? Your long head still works. Is it 60 to 40% or is it 51 to 49%? How much is it? You don't know. I don't know. The optimal gurus most certainly don't know. But let me tell you something better. When you do a triceps push down, you get a long head bias. That's true. But even your chest and your abs are getting crazy amount of work. And most people stop the exercise because they are so exerted from the other muscles doing the work instead of their triceps. But this is not always the case. But it happens. When you do an overhead extension, what other muscles are helping you apart from your triceps? Nobody, not a single soul is there to help you. If you fail the exercise, it was your triceps and your triceps alone and it gets better. What if this so-called biased lateral and medial head fails the exercise? What other muscles are going to move the weight? It is going to be the long head of the triceps because nothing else can help you. Yes, you know it. The non-biased long head of the triceps. So I wonder, if it is so bad, how come it seems better in every possible ways? But let's not deny the fact that you don't get a full contraction. For that to happen, you need your arms next to your side. And this is where people say, Oh, the triceps doesn't benefit from the stretch mediated hypertrophy. Cool, it doesn't get extra growth, like your quads, which you never train anyway. So what is the point you are trying to make here exactly? It still grows. Because nothing else is driving the exercise. You are telling me that your triceps is not going to grow when it is the sole muscle doing the exercise. What is going to grow? Do it twice per week. Only twice. Three sets. But take it all the way to failure. And failure is not when you feel like you are getting stuck around halfway. At that point, you probably have to do around two more reps. And when you are bleeding from your eyes, you have to try one more. Just in case. It won't happen. But just in case it happens, it won't, it won't happen. And your goal is to get stronger. So grind the weight. You have never seen a person who had great triceps and can only do the first five pins in the stack, in the cable stack. They can almost do the whole stack. So you got work to do. So do I. That's about it for me, guys. Talk to you soon.